Hey, it's your boy Picante Nino coming at you with another Zerker video. Today, I'm going to teach you whatever's happening in the background of this clip. Let's just watch it. Let's just watch the explosions just happen at a whim. Look at that. And they thought they took it away from us, you guys. Let's roll the intro. <laughs> Hmm. So today we're going to be going over the Zerker Cubo spam, or what like people, the newer players will like to see it as, the Titan Syndrome spam. So all you got to do is just hit your Cuba, and then you just shake off spamming Flame Buster. And then those of you guys who are wondering, like, how the hell are you canceling it so fast while doing this? Usually you cannot spam the Cuba that fast. There's a secret to it. There's honestly a secret to it, and the secret to this is honestly from your Awakening Tree. You gotta make sure that your Flame Buster is at level 1. I know it sounds a little bit goofy about that, but yes, I am gonna basically demonstrate to you that you cannot do this spam unless your Flame Buster is at level 1. I will actually put a side-by-side -side comparison of both of these videos back-to-back -back showing how quick can you cancel the Q buff of the Flame Buster whenever it's at level 1 to whenever it's at level 3 or 2, it doesn't matter. But Flame Buster needs to be at level 1 in order for you to uh, basically do this. So we'll get into specifics later about how the skill works. Those of you guys who do not and are very new to Zerker that do not understand why this is so important and why this got nerfed multiple times. Because literally, Titan Syndrome, it got nerfed so hard specifically because of the Cuba Flame Buster spam. But yet, it's still available to do on level 1 with some downsides. We'll go over that later, but let's look at the side-by-side -side comparison. Okay, but before getting into the side-by-side -side comparison, let me prove to you guys that I am literally going to level up my Flame Buster to level 3. Why not? Right? Oh, I need to unlock it. Okay, so let me unlock it. You know, it's level 3 now. Cool, right? Alright, we're going to hit Flame Buster. We're going to do the, the Flame Buster Titan Syndrome spam, right? Do it. This is the quickest I could actually do it. And you notice how all the inputs are exactly the same too. Kind of underwhelming, not gonna lie. As you guys can see, the left is the level 3 Flame Buster. And you see, you can easily just see how slow it is. And on the right is the regular level 1 Flame Buster Q buff spam. And you see how significantly faster it is? It's like three to four times faster than the level three spam. So I do recommend you guys just setting it to level one and see how it works for you guys. Okay, side note, Picante. I realized that I wasn't really too clear on how to exactly do the, the, the Q buff spam. I'm actually hitting Flame Buster in between each shake off left or right while I'm holding down Ancient Power with left and right mouse button. So I'm holding this down both of these keys down and I'm also spamming on my hotbar flame buster so I'm basically doing flame buster and then I'm just like canceling it you know you know so right now I'm tapping the hell out of my flame buster hotkey and that's how you do it that's how you do it so like let me get a little bit more stamina back and let me pop Titan syndrome when I get my full stamina back and we're just gonna be spamming flame buster every time between each shake off jump so let's just do it right here you see how just instantly holding on left and right click and then doing flame buster in between my things so I can instantly cancel into a shake off. That's how you basically do it. Very simple. Just follow the keys. Make sure you're spamming that hotbar flame buster. And if you guys cannot cast flame buster at level one, make sure the hotbar flame buster says flame buster one because I have made that mistake and I know some of you guys may be making that mistake in the future. All right, let's continue on with the video. Unsight though. Okay, so let's talk about the downsides and why it isn't as good as it was before, before they nerfed it on Zerker a couple years back. As you can see, I leveled back my Flame Buster to level 1 because we're not about that life and becoming a slow turtle whenever we want to use the Flame Buster spam. But they actually tied the Flame Buster spam knockdown with Ancient Power. And let me try to figure out where Ancient Power is. Flow Ancient Power. Ancient Power is a knockdown whenever it hits. So technically you're not doing Flame Buster. Flame Buster is actually using Ancient Power to actually do the damage. Basically Ancient Power is a more buffed up version of uh, Flame Buster. And 
Titan Syndrome actually manipulates a couple of key skills in Zerker's abilities to either become instant cast or become the upgraded version of itself, which is ancient power in our case that we're using to spam. So back then, Zerker's usually just boom, 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 boom. And instead of it being a regular Flame Buster, it was actually an ancient power. So we're actually getting the buff version of Flame Buster every single time we do a shot. And the thing is, is that whenever you do a shot with a Flame Buster, it's a little little mini explosion, right? But if you do Ancient Power, right? It's a big explosion. You see how I hit both of those and it's a knockdown and it went on cooldown up here. So that is Ancient Power. So that means every time you do a Q buff shake off, you actually are doing Ancient Power. But they actually put a cooldown on Ancient Power. So that means that even if you have the Q buff spam up, you're not getting a knockdown every single time because they did put the knockdown behind a five second cooldown. Or a six second cooldown. My bad. I'm sorry. I lied by one second. But yeah, that's the main downside of it. And that's about it, you guys. Like, if you guys want to learn more about uh, Titan Syndrome, I might as well just include it in this video. So whenever you hit Titan Syndrome right here, you can instantly frame one cancel into an Ancient Wave. Usually you have to wind up back and then you like throw it down. But yeah, if you notice right here, I'm going to start doing cube of spam. You see how the knockdown does not apply on this one. But as soon as like... The, the five seconds are up, I can knock down again. And that's how, you know, it was back then. Every single shot, way back then, before they nerfed it, was a knockdown. And that's why they nerfed it. So, like, imagine way back in the day, Zerker was just really dumb to, like, open up the front line. They would just blast open the front line. So they took it off, but yet you still have the damage of Ancient Power. And Ancient Power does a decent amount of damage. It just means that your CC is a little bit staggered out, but it's a very consistent way of just pumping out damage. So with that, you guys, I appreciate you guys looking at the video, and hopefully this helps out a new returning Zerker or someone who is just very confused about the class. And if you guys want to see me stream, I stream Mondays through Thursdays on Twitch or on YouTube as well. Feel free to give me a follow. We're really close to getting monetized. So I appreciate every single one of you guys who take the time to go through my videos. And with that... I'll see you guys next time.